Melba Moore is here, a true trailblazer from her history-making roles on Broadway to her presidential honors for the work she's done to help urban communities. And listen up, on March 15th and 16th, she'll be paying tribute to the ladies of Broadway and taking a look back at her own career with her new production, here's the title, Melba Moore from Broadway with Love Ooh. at 54 Below. I Miracle so of Miracles. Excited. She's live here in the studio barely. <laughs> she raced onto the set. She was so excited that she literally flipped. She did a cartwheel yes. and our own floor director caught her. Are you okay? Are you I will be after a while. Okay, good. Yes. good. Okay, good. As long as I I'm broke a Flipped leg. right into broke the seat. Leg. Yes. <laughs> but it's all good luck. So we are so excited to hear about the new show. Can you tell us all about this, cartwheels included? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope no cartwheels, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's a show dedicated to my experiences on Broadway and some tributes to some um, icons like Barbara Streisand, one of my idols, and mm. Liza Minnelli, someone I've worked with a lot and loved dearly, and uh, someone I just adore, Miss Lena Horne, mm. who's not so much known as a Broadway artist, but she is a Broadway artist. And then from, from the, some, of the, some of the shows, not all of them, that I've done, like Hair, and the music is, is incredible there, mm -hmm. so I get to sing some great songs from there and tell some wonderful stories. Uh, Pearly, which gave me a Tony Award and really kind of put me on the map, and a little bit about how that came about, and some songs from that, and uh, Les Miserables, which is one of my wow. favorites, oh, period. Yes. I was the first black actress to play the role of Fontaine. Oh. And as you may know, it's not mm. about black history. <laughs> I mean, that right. is black history because I did it now and right. I'm old enough to be historic. <laughs> Hey, stop a junior. It, stop <laughs> but it's it's about the French Revolution, so it was very creative casting. And everybody loves I Dreamed a Dream. Yes. So I get to sing great songs from some of the shows that I've done. Like I play the role of uh, matron Mama Morton in Chicago in a touring company. I thought I was too small, but I had a big enough personality. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Voice. <laughs> but you know, I want to ask you though, when you because uh, it's an intimate theater. It's it not is. Big. And you have a year with... It's not a theater, it's a supper club. But, and you're with live musicians, right? Yes. So how do you pick songs? Because when I think Broadway, I think intimate, but I also think huge show stoppers, mm. too. How do you pick the, the kind of the rundown Well, of the I'm show? the huge... You're the show stopper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you're, you're right. And um, all of the shows that I've done, I've done musicals. So I get to do some incredible songs. So it's, it's really a concert, too. Yeah. And some of the characters I've, I've played were very, very interesting. So, do a little bit of characterization. So it's, it's a little, it's a tiny musical. Yeah. And you've been ingrained in Broadway for decades. Can you just talk about what it's, it's been like being part of this community? It is just so amazing because it has its own style, its own um, way of expressing the arts. <clears throat> and I never thought that I would be an actress, but the way it came about was interesting. I was. My first job was as a public school music teacher. Really? Does that interest you? Oh, <laughs> because that's what I was going to be. Really? Yeah, and then I got golden handcuffs at TV. <laughs> but, you mean, went directly what? into TV? Yeah, yeah. That's well, a, that's my parents were, uh, were uh, entertainers too, and they wanted me to have a good education. But I said, Daddy, that's your dream, and I love it, and I do it. So he helped me get into the industry, but one of the first people I met was Valerie Simpson. We met, remember the Brill Building? Yeah. Everybody gets everything That's done there. That's where all the songwriters were. Well, she's a songwriter. I was just trying to find out how to get into the industry. Mm -hmm. But we exchanged numbers, and she got me into studio backup singing. Ah. But the, one of one of the um, uh, recording sessions was for the Broadway musical Hair. I, yeah, and you filled it. You took over for Diane Keaton, didn't right. you? You skipped to the juicy part. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Could I but, <laughs> but do you know who Galt McDermott is? No. He was the music, music director for Hair, and he wrote the music for Hair. But he was doing his own recording, so he hired me and Valerie and all up of us to do the music for it. And when it was finished, he invited us all to come down and sing for the director because they were still looking for strong singers. And uh, Jim Rader thought my personality was interesting. <laughs> well, you <laughs> I sure still think it's interesting. <laughs> but anyway, that's how I got into my first Broadway show, which was Hair, and wound up replacing Diane Keaton. Yeah. So I'm trying to say that my luck and fortune has been incredible. 
but it's equally and then surpassed by your talent and your grace and your ability to recover from an amazing fall. <laughs> this one, um, Melba Moore, thank Excuse you so me. much. Hey, Woo! can you Whoa, do that? No, <laughs> uh, again. Get it up there, Jen. Melba Moore from Broadway with Love is uh, coming up March 15th and 16th at 54 Below, which is right around the corner from us. Showtime for both nights. 7 p.m. God bless you. Thank you I so much. I cannot wait. Such a pleasure to have <laughs> you so here. Exciting. We heard that high note, and if you want to hear more of those high notes and for more information, including how to get tickets, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com, and we'll be right on back. i got to start stretching. <laughs>